get started. So let's start uh, by presenting the proposals now, LAC 2023, version uh, one. Uh, for, uh, for the change, we invite uh, Thomas Lynch uh, to come here to present his proposal. I remind you, Thomas, that you have 10 minutes to present it. All right, good afternoon. My name is Thomas Lynch and I'm going to present my proposal. Uh, the justification of the proposal is that there are many proposals that end up I, I'm saying sometimes consensus is not reached, the proposal is not ratified, and there is some time until it is withdrawn, and that is what the author highlights. These I, I call these semi-permanent uh, states. One proposal can be either removing it or now or it's implemented. It's either removed or uh, implemented. So <clears throat> the justification is what the, or the rationale is, well, the chairs can uh, um, define the state of the proposal, but they, we haven't defined the mechanism. The other rationale is that all these proposals that haven't reached consensus, where we have four proposals with almost two years and uh, having failed to reach consensus, and one proposal that is about to uh, reach one year after not having cons reached consensus. So what do we propose with LAC 2023 3, version 1? Well, the idea is to delete the phrase, decide whether a policy is abandoned. Rather than a policy, it's a, if the proposal is abandoned, because the policy, abandoning a policy, that's up to the community and replacing it for a new text that says that if it decide uh, to communicate with uh, the chairs in, within 10 months. If the author does not present a new proposal or does not communicate with uh, the uh, chairs after 10 months, then the proposal will be removed. So with this, we would have a very simple uh, situation with a cuckoo clock where we will have again find this abandoned status. Jordi changed from abandoned to re removed because removed is when it's the author who decides it. If it's less than 10 months, the author decides that it, it can remove or it will send it for discussion again. If it's equal to or more than 10 months and uh, the uh, it, then it is automatically abandoned. I hope this release one won't reach consensus because the items discussed in, in the list were 10 or 12 months and whether it's automatic or decided by the chairs and the new text I have a new version that we could debate in the same space, but uh, there it would be up uh, to Lacknick. Let's now invite Franco Cabrera of the staff of Lacknick, who will analyze the, who will uh, tell us about the impact assessment. Good morning. This is the impact assessment of uh, uh, the version one of the proposal. So first of all, 
We, the staff, considers that the proposal is timely to put a, a limit to the time when a proposal that has not reached consensus or was not ratified uh, remain in that uh, state. Uh, and then in item 3.2.4, when the author says refers to a new proposal, we interpret that it means a new version of the proposal. We interpret that if the author does not present a new version of the proposal within 10 months, the chairs will point out that they will declare them abandoned beyond the decision the author has manifested uh, to the chairs. We understand that if the proposal reaches consensus, it will be applied for the versions uh, following its ratification. So based on these comments, first of all, we recommend to clarify item 3.2.4 uh, uh, in the light of comment two of the impact assessment. Uh, and uh, then we recommend to change the drafting of the text where it says not decide to present, to decide not to present. And finally, we have uh, checked uh, that this proposal has no impact in any of the other systems and it would be implemented immediately. Thank you, Franco. Now we'll start the discussion time. So please tell you what you think about uh, this proposal presented by Thomas. We there are two microphones uh, on the central aisle, and those of you in Zoom, you'll see a, 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 a key for the Q and A uh, panel, and. You can raise your hand if you want to request your microphone. So you can either write your comment or ask for the, the microphone. You have two minutes for each uh, uh, for comments, and the other has an additional two minutes to answer. So we are we have a stopwatch, and we are checking the time so we can uh, finish on time. So please try to restrict yourself to the time that you have. We have simultaneous translation, but we ask you to please speak uh, slowly and in your native language. So we have a question here, Jordi Palet. Tomás, uh, I have a proposal for this because you are covering me. I, when, when this proposal was published, well, I agree with the spirit of the author. As a matter of fact, some of the proposals that you said that were pending, many were written by me. And the reason why I haven't abandoned them, it's because it's not abandoning them, it's removing them. So I'm waiting until we can, we, we uh, accept this change um, because Sometimes I've learned, I, I've learned that sometimes you have to uh, pause the proposals after many discussions because there's a very heated debate and it doesn't work. And if you put a pause, later on it may work. So I think that even if that pause that sometimes is good, uh, a one-year pause is short, but uh, withdrawing it and then reintroducing it up after a couple of years is uh, sometimes is is sometimes convenient. I was the one one that said that we should have 12 years, 12 months, because that implies two complete cycles of public policy forum, and it is true that it should be automatic. It makes no sense. Uh, regardless of what the chairs think, because that's what happens in other registries. I think that the drafting is not the best. I absolutely prefer that what you put for release two, that you wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, support this proposal. And as I said earlier, there's something about the drafting of number, the second release that could be further improved because I think that it may be misleading. Yes. It's very strange for a proposal to be accepted in version one with no amendments, with no corrections. But thank you, it's, that's very difficult, but thank you. Wellesley Correa, I also agree with Jorge. I agree with the spirit of the proposal, and I think that um, if a proposal 
is, uh, stays in a waiting list or in standby would uh, cause more work to the chairs and to the staff. So I absolutely agree with the spirit of the proposal. And earlier today, when we talked of the list policy, I think it's uh, a 12-month term is uh, the right uh, duration because that would include two cycles. Yes, 10 months was just so if you have an obsessive compulsive disorder uh, will not complain but what you said is valid well, that is to let two forums spend uh, go by so that's why we suggested one year 12 months that's a very nice t-shirt you're wearing I'm Ariel. I'm from somewhere. I wanted to go back to this. In the previous forum that I presented a proposal with uh, some other person, and but uh, it didn't reach consensus because the community was not interested, or at least that was re the result. There were no comments, and that's okay. I continue to believe that there needs to be uh, the, we have to include uh, things about the reverse DNS uh, in the manual, even if there were no mo uh, comments. And I think it absolutely makes sense that if the author says, well, there were no comments. So as we speak, the community is not interested this, this year, this uh, a month, uh, the people are not interested in discuss debating this and immediately withdraw or consider that the proposal is abandoned, or whatever you want to call it, and also to um, um, uh, make it easier for the administration. So it's good for the author to take that into account and to listen to the community who remained silent and so the author should withdraw it yes of course nobody is going to die if this is not uh, approved but we want to have a system that is clean so that people do not get confused so before starting and those who are following us by zoom we repeat that you have the option to ask questions in the q a box franco Yes, Fridiani. First of all, where can I buy one of those T-shirts? <laughs> In the Dorado shop. So I share the spirit of this proposal. This is a good proposal. And for reasons of procedure, I cannot state that I'm in favor because there will be a second version. So in the case of the second version, I would also agree that 12 months is correct to complete two cycles because it might occur that the author might decide not to submit a proposal at the next forum, but in the one after that. So the author still has a chance to do so. Now regarding automatically abandoning it, I think it is better for the chairs to request LACNIC to declare this proposal abandoned and so that it's not automatic. So let me refer to Ariel's comment. I don't know whether I properly understood what he wished to, to say regarding the fact that the chairs do not submit a proposal for discussion if they understand that the community is not interested in doing discussing it. So how can the chair analyze that basing this concept on the number of emails? So I didn't quite understand what Ariel was saying. So that is the point I am against. And I'm looking forward to version number two. So there are some mornings where I get up and I'm 50.5 in favor of this being automatic and 49.5 
if this is the chairs who decide on the following day, I say, well, it's better that the moderators, that the chairs decide this. But we can discuss this, particularly the impact this has on LACNIC system. If the chairs decide so, then they can call Franco or Mariana. This is then abandoned, and that is it. Otherwise, we have to uh, modify the entire system at LACNIC. Douglas? So, hello. I came here so as not to miss out the opportunity of saying that I agree with Frediani and with Jordi. This is something that won't happen so frequently. So this is just to say that I also agree with them. But I must admit that I have a doubt regarding the definition as to when you start counting the time, that 10 or 12 month period. If this since the final version or since the last contact of the author on this proposal, which would be the date as from which we'll be counting this 12-month period. So this will be as from the moment the chairs decide this does not reach consensus or when the board, for example, this could be a case, the board does not ratify a proposal. So this is something that we discussed with Jordi, if this goes automatically back to discussion or it remains in this unratified or non-ratified status. Well, like Fernando Frediani stated, I cannot express myself in favor of this because there will be a new version. But maybe you can adjust this so this is explicitly stated. So as from the date that is clarified, 10 or 12 months will be added. So I would like to add something, if you allow me. I think Thomas's proposal states 10 months after the moment when consensus was not reached or the proposal was not ratified. So ratification is at a given date. And I think the proposal is clear. Maybe you can find a better text. Well, exactly. So just to clarify that to Douglas, I think this proposal is states that. No more questions or comments, nothing in Zoom, Franco. So now let us close the discussion period. Thank you, Thomas, for joining us. As we said, we're now going to measure the temperature to take this into account when we consider consensus. And although the Zoom tool that you will see, those of you, of you who are connected, indicates that you have to vote. This is not voting. What we do is to check the temperature in the room. The result of this poll does not mean that a proposal is passed on to consensus. So consensus is based on the comments made in the forum, in the mailing list, and this should not be considered a voting process. Now, let us now ask LACNIC staff for assistance to check the temperature in the room and with counting. Please let me know when you're ready. So here in the room, what about Zoom? So those people who are in favor of this proposal, please raise your hand and keep it raised. So the staff, can you please confirm? Thank you. Those people who are against this proposal, please raise your hand and keep it raised. You can lower your hands. Those people who abstain, please raise your hand. Mm 